every single one of them, because they're all like these plastic marrying these plastic dogs, <laughs> <and> these <laughs> fake animals. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I participated in a live nativity scene. Uh, the town I grew up in, Bethel, Ohio, uh, very small town. Ohio, 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 yeah. Very small town. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> We're not related, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> very small town, and uh, one weekend around the Christmas holiday, they would have, you know, this sort of festival downtown, and my church was on the corner of the street that went uh, through the main uh, main part of town. So they decided to do a live nativity scene. They did it for several years. And when I turned 13, it was my turn to cycle through and participate. You know, there was somebody in church uh, who was a carpenter type person. He built sort of a stable scene, and there was a manger, and we had costumes because, you know, every church does a pageant at some point. Um, we had a farmer who let us borrow some of his animals, uh, nervously, but, you know, he had faith in <laughs> us borrow his animals. And uh, then the kids took up the roles of the people in the scene. So you had, you know, your shepherds, and you had your three wise men, and you had an angel, and you had <coughs> Mary, and you had Joseph. Well, everybody wanted to be a shepherd because, you know, they get that, that, that cool crook that he can carry. <laughs> and then other people, they wanted to be, because it's cool to be a shepherd. And then people wanted to be the wise men, because who doesn't want to be a wise man when you're 13 years old, right? Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Uh, nobody wanted to be Joseph because nobody wanted to be saddled with a plastic kid and a wife at 13. <laughs> uh, so, but the, the, the girl that was going to be married uh, that year was this girl that I, I had developed a little crush on. A little redheaded girl. <laughs> I like those little redheaded girls. And, uh, and, I, and I, you know, it's like, okay, how can I get this girl to notice me? So what I did was I volunteered to be Joseph. <laughs> uh, seemed like a good idea at the time, although it was not well thought out. Uh, but I figured, you know, I get a chance to be in this very little tight little scene in this tight little space with this girl that I like, and maybe she'll see me as boyfriendish kind of material. You know, good with plastic kids and everything. Very. <laughs> and, 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 and maybe, you know, pretending to be her husband, and maybe if I'm super, super lucky, you know, because, you know, husband and wives, they do things, you know, they, they hold hands. <laughs> interlocking fingers, very important, interlocking fingers. I could maybe hold hands with her because it's going to be cold. So I volunteered to do this, and, of course, all the jokes started because, you know, all the wise men, you know, <laughs> making jokes about babies' diapers and kissing in trees and, <laughs> and the way kids do. And a thing about live nativities that no one ever tells you before you do them, first of all, it's cold. Now, not, not like winter now. This, this year, winter has been pretty mild. But that year, it was cold. And no matter how many layers you put on those uh, cloaks that they think Middle Eastern people used to wear uh, are not very warm. And uh, so it was cold. And uh, although I grew up in a small town with a lot of farms around it, I did not grow up on a farm. And, and farm animals... Smell. <laughs> Donkeys smell. Sheep smell. And they do smelly things that are perfectly natural. They have these perfectly natural processes that really, really smell and end up on your shoes. <laughs> so we're there. Everybody's dressed up. And I'm, you know, trying to, you know. But I, I was nervous, but I was, I was elated. I was very excited. Because, you know, I get to be in close proximity with this little red-headed girl. And... So we're all there, and the wise men have their turbans on, and the shepherds have their cooks, and the, the person who's the angel is hanging out in the back somewhere. And, you know, she is there, and I am there. And the youth minister tells us that when people walk by, they take pictures, because that's what they do in little small towns during festival. They take, when you look, look happy, you know, because you are the parents of the kid who is going to be God on earth, right? So you got to look divinely happy. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. I'm next to the girl I want. So... People start walking by and they take the pictures. And so I look over at the redhead girl, smile, big smile. Like that one, I'll live without all the hair. <laughs> I would have loved this one, I was uh, Smile. And she's looking right at me, but she is not smiling. She does not look happy, does not look divinely blissful, nothing. And this goes on for a while. 
And she wouldn't even talk to me. I tried a little nervous chatter while people were going through. And uh, eventually, about 20 minutes into our little, our little divinely blissful uh, interlude, she does open up her mouth, finally. And a very natural uh, process occurs when you uh, have a stomach bug. Oh. And it landed on my shoes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't wear white shoes anymore. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, her parents took her home because she was sick, and they couldn't find another girl to stand in to be married. So I ended up with, they found the big classic one, you know. <laughs> so it was uh, <laughs> me, my plastic kid, my plastic wife. And then the wise men who spent the whole night complaining that they were downwind from me. Um, <laughs> so I did not get to hold hands with my with the girl I had a crush on. Um, I did eventually uh, convince her to be my girlfriend, but she would not hold hands because she it was too much public display of affection. <laughs> uh, I did get to kiss her once though, and, and uh, it, it was very exciting, and nothing fell on my shoes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>